Okay, quick uh, practical demonstration and experiment today. Uh, last video, I uh, tried a loop on the ground antenna, and frankly, I was uh, far from uh, complimentary about it. I, I didn't think it worked that well. It sounded uh, really, really quiet compared to my main antenna. Now, I know it's not just about signal level, it's about signal to noise ratio, but um, I was struggling to hear on the loop on the ground, whereas NFED Halfwave I could hear really well. So I was far from complimentary about it, but let's um, let's be a little bit more scientific here and uh, compare the two side by side. Now in the last video I suggested using a uh, antenna switch, which I've got on the wall there, and just switching between the two, but I think I can do better than that. Using a uh, whisper, I I thought, why don't I just compare the two antennas side by side? So if you can see on this screen, my head might be in the way, but I've got uh, um, an SDR running on there and I'm just piping that via a virtual cable direct into uh, WSJTX here, which is running Whisper. So I've got that running a Whisper test at the moment. That's set on my full call sign M0 GQC. Um, and then on over here, I've got my NFED half wave going into, uh, I think it's just out of shot of the camera, so you might not be able to see it, but there's a uh, Yaesu FT857 down here radio, which has got an audio interface on it, and it's going uh, straight into this um, tablet computer down here, which is uh, also running uh, WSJTX on Whisper. And uh, I've um, set that one with my intermediate call sign of 2E0JJD. Um, the reason being that I can uh, compare the two easier later on when I download the uh, whisper plots off the internet. Uh, you put in the call sign to search for, so it's e easier to separate the two plots. And uh, I'm literally just running both side by side so I can compare them. Now, I actually messed up on this, uh, to be completely honest, um, because I rigged up both computers, got it running, left it running for about half an hour, and then I realised I've got an SDR switch down here, so I can uh, use the same antenna, i.e. the NFED half wave, on both the radio and the uh, SDR. And uh, I forgot to change the SDR over to the loop on ground antenna, so... My bad, I messed up. I was uh, looking at the um, signal strengths on both screens thinking, oh, they're almost identical. So that's a good thing though, because what that does do is it shows that, yeah, there's very slight differences in the uh, setup. I mean, two different receivers are going to perform slightly differently, a different sound card interface, etc., etc. So there's, there's going to be slight differences in performance there but in actual fact um, the reports coming back were within uh, one or two dbs of each other either way it didn't really favor one receiver or the other so um, actually I think it's a reasonably fair test so I'm going to let this uh, run for a while and um, see what we come back with but well I can take a quick look initially at what we've uh, got here. So on the last round we've got uh, Delta Mike 1 Alpha Charlie. He's minus 27 on the loop on the ground via the SDR. Um, he's minus 17 um, on the uh, uh, NFED half wave. So initially it's looking better for the NFED half wave. Uh, what else we got? There's uh, Delta Kilo 2 Delta Bravo here, he's uh, minus 13, minus 10. Um, on the last round, I've got a uh, Papa Alpha 1 station from uh, the Netherlands here at minus 21. He's not even showed up on the um, loop on the ground. Uh, who's this? Delta Lima 1, Foxtrot X ray. He's minus 25 there, minus 13 on there. So I'm going to leave this running about an hour and then I'll uh, whip, uh, rip off the whisper plots and uh, I'll put them on the screen so you can compare them side by side. But my first and initial reaction is uh, that what I said the other day is probably correct. I think uh, the loop on the ground is uh, 
at least in my case, a bit of a disappointing performer. Okay, results. So I've done three whisper tests. I've done 40 meters and 80 meters, which are the main two bands I want to use. Uh, just for fun, I also had a look on 160 meters as well. Now, to be honest, it's about, as I film this, it's about five o'clock in the evening. So uh, it's a tiny bit early, really, for both 80 meters and 160 meters. So uh, I'm not expecting uh, complete wonders from either antenna, but. Uh, if I switch on to my screen capture so you can see what I'm looking at on this screen. Um, so this is on uh, 40 meters with the NFED half wave. Now the NFED half wave is uh, resonant on 80 meters, but you can also use it on 40 and it's, it's close. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's close. If I want to transmit on it, then uh, I have to put a tuner in just to bring the SWR down a bit. It's just a tad high. So the thing you're going to notice here is uh, when I switch onto the next slide, which is the um, uh, loop on the ground, you'll notice a couple of these uh, stations up in Scotland. Uh, I think that one in Oslo and a few others uh, disappear. So bearing in mind these tests were run in parallel with each other, both antennas at the same time. So you can see there it's uh, looking a little bit more sparse. So uh, if I go back just for comparison, that's the NFED half wave and um, loop on the ground. So the NFED half wave is definitely performing better on uh, 40 meters. Now 80 meters. This is where the NFED half wave is resonant, so uh, I'd expect the NFED half wave to do quite well here. Um, like I said, a bit early in the day, this was done about four o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, a bit early in the day for 80 meters, really. So it's a tad, uh, it's a tiny bit sparse, but uh, only because I did this test a bit earlier in the day. Uh, but that's 80 meters uh, NFED half wave and 80 meters loop on the ground. You see a couple of those stations uh, disappeared. So uh, NFED half wave um, and loop on the ground. We lost this station around Bristol, Leeds, and nothing. There was a couple out towards Nuremberg as well. Yeah, so not working as well. Um, so 160 meters then. Um, like I say, way too early in the day, and I don't think many people use 160 meters uh, on Whisper around here. So, um, not I didn't really expect an awful lot, even on the NFED half wave. It's um, it's not resonant on 160 meters. It's uh, not designed for it really. But uh, we'll try it anyway. So. This is the NFED half wave. So just got one station down here in uh, Kent towards sort of Maidstone, Gravesend sort of way. Do we think we picked up that station on the uh, loop on the ground? Nah, don't be silly. So net result of this then, um, I think I have to stand by what I said at the end of the last video. Uh, I said it sounded a lot quieter and wasn't as clear. Now. This um, whisper test doesn't show the full story because whilst I was actually running the whisper test, I had it one on each uh, screen because I was using the two computers and I was actually comparing the signal strengths as well. And the uh, loop on the ground was um, typically around 10 dB, sometimes more down on the um, on the NFED half wave. Now you can argue that and say that uh, um, the uh, it's not about the signal strength it's about signal to noise ratio which is uh, absolutely true but to be honest when I listened to the same station on both antennas and switched between the two on SSB um, the weak signal was way down in the noise so I I don't think that really uh, comes into play here. I don't. I don't think the loop on the ground was actually giving me any real uh, benefits. Now I've heard a lot of people have success with this. Um, in my case, it didn't work. Now, again, 
you can argue how scientific this test was because I used um, two separate receivers, two separate computers, uh, different sound cards, so um, that could make a difference. But as I said earlier, I made the mistake of uh, running the test with the SDR still connected to the NFED halfwave. So the NFED halfwave via my uh, receiver switch was running both uh, the 857 and the SDR and um, the results were negligible within about one dB, two dBs of each other. So um, I think we can say that the two systems are uh, matched equally enough for it to be, for this to be a reliable test. So uh, I think the con conclusion I have to come through here, at least in my case, um, your mileage might vary, is that uh, loop on the ground was uh, not good for me. It didn't work any better than the, uh, in fact, it was worse than the NFED half wave. So uh, nice theory, but uh, not much use for me.